I'm sorry, does that headline say how Bill Gates wants to hack the weather to save us from extinction? Are we talking about the same Bill Gates who wants to hack the human body to save us from extinction? The one who wants to buy up all the farmland and then he wants to control how we transport food from one place to another. And then the same Bill Gates that wants to create the digital ID system that will verify that you've taken the thing that he made for you to put in your body as a prerequisite for you to get the food that he then produced and then transported to an area near you with guards and people who will make sure you don't get your food if you didn't do the thing that he wants you to do. Say that Bill Gates? And I assume that's the same Bill Gates that would do anything to make sure that this guy does not win the election that we just started voting for and in the states that are going to be affected by these weather events, it's going to be very hard for people to cast their votes or we're talking about the same guy, right? Hey guys, just make sure I'm not being crazy. Like the majority of people affected by this hurricane are likely to vote which direction. Why Bill Gates is investing billions to build an ecosystem in Tampa. Hmm. George Soros wants to block Arctic sunlight. So when you pull on a string just to see where it goes, sometimes you find something so large that you don't even really know where to start. I would consider this story to be that. So we're on the eve of Hurricane Milton making landfall and uh, the predictions that I am hearing, uh, well, I guess the uh, the word from local authorities are get out of Tampa or die is what they're saying. And uh, the home that I was actually born in is in St. Petersburg. And my dad just walked me through the geography of where it's at. It's not going to exist tomorrow. You know, once this thing gets going, that that home is going to be off of its foundation and gone. And they can say that with essential certainty. So what we're looking at is a historic storm that is going to bring unbelievable destruction. And it's coming seven days after Hurricane Helene essentially destroyed country-sized areas in the southeast. We talked about that. Now, given the circumstances of the, uh, the global incident that we had last time that we had an election, everyone being locked in their home, you know, everybody needs to take basically a complete earth changing society changing incident that was that literally affected everyone i'm like it's it seems pretty quiet this year you know like seems pretty quiet given what happened last time and i think maybe that was because they thought they were just gonna you know put the big guy down and that would solve the problem and then that didn't work you know what's their backup plan and all of a sudden you have the largest storm in the history of the of, of recorded history about to destroy the southeast seven days after another one just did that and it's like, are they controlling the weather? And I said, are they controlling the weather? I said that just on, 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 uh, you know, like a, a, a natural suspicion. And then I just started doing research today. Like, is there any, any of the, any of the same people, you know, any of the same people that were involved in all of the global infrastructure creation around the other thing, you know, the shots, the, uh, you know, viruses, all those, anybody, any central figures have any interest in weather control and, Boom. That was literally just a thought I had. Pulled on a string and oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. I have him sitting right there. I'm sure you can see who we're talking about. So let's just start right here. Okay. And, and I am telling you, buckle in because uh, your level of suspicion of, of this storm and whether it's being bioengineered is about to go through the roof if this guy over here is a person you do not trust as much as I don't trust him. Okay. Watch this. Bill Gates is among a dozen individual donors and 14 foundations backing the first stratospheric solar geoengineering experiment out of Harvard. It's called Stratospheric Controlled Perturbation Experiment, or SCOPEX. A high-altitude balloon will lift instruments about 20 kilometers into the stratosphere, where it will release less than two kilograms of different naturally occurring chemicals, like calcium carbonate and sulfate. So, right, Bill Gates has been focused on the weather, in case you can't tell, and engineering the weather. And there's a lot more meat on this bone. Like, where does uh, Bill Gates own a lot of property? You know, couldn't be Tampa, right? No way. No, it couldn't be Tampa. That would just be way too much of a coincidence for it to be. Oh, is that what that says? Why Bill Gates and Jeff Vinnick are investing billions to build an ecosystem in Tampa. <laughs> you know, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's a coincidence, but we'll look into that more. And by the way, Send this to your friends, specifically. Send it to your friends that make content. Send it to your friends on social media. Text it to them. Make sure everyone gets to see this because it's just one of those things, man. I'm not, do I know for sure that Bill Gates is creating this, uh, this hurricane? Nope, definitely not. Just pointing out things that seem interesting to me because that is what I do on this channel. Let's, we'll, we'll take a look at this too. 
Let's go back here real quick, though, uh, and we'll continue to, to uh, run through this. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well uh, if you're interested in listening to me talk about things. I'm not always this serious, dude. Now, remember the story that I told you guys about with Iran sending assassination teams to try to take out President Trump? You want to know what's frustrating about that is if you're smart enough to know why that might be true, then you also know why it might also not be true. You go to the left-wing media and they're going to say, oh, yeah, there's a hundred different assassination teams. You go to the right-wing media and they're like, yeah, there are, but it's like not not Iran, it's the deep state. And you're like, what on earth is going on? Ground News is the first news comparison platform that helps you see through bias and manipulation. Their app and website gathers related news in one place to highlight important perspectives often overlooked by the mainstream media. Each story also provides context on each source's political bias and ownership to help readers see how these factors influence the framing of a story or whether it gets reported at all. Now let's see what that means in practice. Right here, you have Trump briefed on alleged assassination threat by Iran, his campaign said, and you go down here and each article is outlined with whether or not they are on the left, on the right, whether they are factual, whether or not they have ownership that should be relevant. So Axios, you got owned by Cox, high factuality, but leans left. But this right here is the crown jewel of ground news. It's called the blind spot feed. And this is where they're going to show you stories that are true that you are not seeing if you are watching partisan outlets. As an example, scientists sue academic journal that retracted studies from citing dangers about the abortion pill. No one on the left has seen this. So go to groundnews.com forward slash J-O-F. If you use my link, you get 40% off the same unlimited access I use to research my videos like this one. By subscribing, you're accessing a better way to read the news while also directly supporting my work. There's a QR code on the screen. Obviously, you can use that as well. Sometimes I talk about other things. But here, so let's just... Here are other ideas that are coming out of uh, Bill Gates right now. Is any of their their oh, power source? I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me go back real quick. So the sh the video that I showed you, the first one, that was six years ago. Okay, the one about them testing the the geoengineering, that was six years ago. So this one is three years ago. Still. So, so natural gas shut down, and that was the biggest thing. The wind shutting down was a, a very small percentage, and that was just because they hadn't weatherized it. You know, even North Dakota. Uh, has wind that works at cold temperatures. There are two really valid points here, though, which is we're going to have more of these crazy weather events. So, I mean, listen, dude, I don't know. Uh, it sounds pretty confident, right? It sounds pretty confident about the, uh, the weather events that we're going to have, and that was a pretty weird thing to say about uh, them having wind that works in cold climates. I don't know. I mean, again, I have no idea what that means, but here's this, too. Bill Gates' venture aims to spray dust into the atmosphere to block the sun. What could go wrong? Huh. So that's in 2021. It's actually almost four years ago that, uh, that this article came out. So Microsoft, Microsoft billionaire founder Bill Gates is financially backing the developing of sun dimming technology that would potentially reflect sunlight out of Earth's atmosphere. So as I get into this, I, th let me just make sure that I'm being crystal clear on my central thesis, Okay. Do you think there's anyone on earth who wants uh, the, the big guy to get elected less than Bill Gates? Do you think that there's a person who hates that guy more? Like he sees that dude as his number one global adversary for power. Because if you haven't put this together yet, Bill Gates is one of the most powerful people in the history of the world, if not the most. Okay. And he is trying to remake the world interestingly, in a way where he controls basically every single piece of infrastructure globally. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to take on climate change. Oh, how are you going to do that? I'm going to have technology that controls the weather. I'm going to have technology that dims the sun. I'm going to have uh, technology that sucks carbon out of the air. I'm going to have technology for that, 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 that I'm doing. He, I'm investing in the technology that's going to do the nuclear power. I am going to control all of that. Well, what about food production? I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. I'm going to be doing all the farming. I am the largest farm uh, farmland owner in the United States now. Uh, anything else, you know? Oh, well, obviously, we need to be very, very cautious and, and serious about, you know, global pandemics. That could wipe out the whole entire world. Well, what do you think we should do about that? Oh, well, actually, I have a digital ID system that's going to make sure that everybody is always up to date on their shots. Oh, where are they going to get their shots? Don't worry, I've got that covered as well. So food, shots, the control, the tracking, the weather, the power bases. Am I, uh, am I forgetting anything? Well, what about how are people going to get from here to there? Oh, transportation, you mean? So shipping and transportation. Don't worry, I've got that covered as well. You know, I've got that covered as well. As a matter of fact, 
the way I thought of that personally, now I'm talking as myself, when him and his wife got divorced <laughs> because she found out about his connections with Jeffrey Epstein, she left him. That's a true story. You can ask her about it. I was like, let's look at their divorce, uh, their, their agreement, and let's see what she asks for because he's talking, you know? He's talking at home. It's the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So what is she interested in? And I remember one of the very first things that she got was like a two billion, I don't know, don't, don't quote me on the exact number. But it was like two or $3 billion stake in a railroad, uh, a railroad, ra uh, railroad company. And I was like, railroad company. Okay, so what does that mean? And it's like, okay, so he's buying up all the farmland. Okay, well, cool. How is, how is food going to get from one place to another in a world that he controls? Oh, railroads, you know, rudimentary way to get food from one place to another railroads okay so here is my hypothesis before we get back to the evidence i think bill gates is trying to create a world a global world that he controls everything in food energy climate everything pandemic oh, everything every single thing and i think donald trump is standing directly between him and progress on his uh you know project 2030 or whatever whatever he's trying to do and so I think he'll do anything to make sure that he does not get elected. Anything. Including, as an example, if he had the technology to create a storm, creating a storm. So we've established that he openly uh, wants to block out the sun, right? So now I think we'll move over to this article right here, uh, where Bill Gates wants to hack the weather to save us from extinction. Seems a little bit relevant, given the conversation. You know what I mean? And then we're going to get into his involvement in Tampa, Florida, which, you know, by coincidence, happens to be where this is likely to make landfall. Uh, and then I'm going to show you what Bill Gates wants to do uh, to society if people question what he is trying to do. Okay? So... Yeah, it just seems like the right thing, right? Because all I'm doing here, I'm just reading articles that are in public. I am not, I, I've stated nothing that is true, untrue, whatever. I'm telling you what a suspicious person would think about these stories, right? So uh, how Bill Gates wants to hack the weather to save us from extinction. The Microsoft founder is funding experiments to cool the Earth's climate, but are they safe? Uh, 1991, a major eruption from the uh, volcanoes and ash, 25 miles, yada, yada, yada. Don't care about volcanoes. Okay, so as we inch closer to catastrophic temperature rises, the, temp the question is increasingly being asked, can we hack the climate to keep us cool? More importantly, should we? Okay, so there's been a shift. Uh, I'm sorry, I skipped a very important uh, thing here. A few days later, EU called for a global agreement to ensure no countries are conducting experiments alone with our shared planet. Right, because Bill Gates is just doing that. So let's just skip over to uh, the Bill Gates portion of this. Bill Gates has given 300000 to Silver Lining and, back, and backed a Harvard-based led, pro uh, sorry, Harvard-led project to spray calcium carbonate, the stuff in heartburn tablets into the atmosphere above Sweden. The project was abandoned in the early phase after protests from indigenous groups. Opponents of geoengineering, among them Greta Thunberg, focus on two problems. It won't work, and even if it did, it's too dangerous. The key problem is it's untested, unforgivable, so on, so forth, etc. Now, since I just looked at, uh, in an article, right, in an article that shows, here you go, stratospheric aerosol injection, uh, but I saw a picture of a gentleman that I know pretty, uh, you know, is, is, is pretty relevant to these conversations. Let's just do something together. We are going to find out together. <laughs> of course, dude. So George Soros wants to block Arctic sunlight. So if you see Bill Gates and a climate project and you happen to search George Soros and the same type of thing, you will literally always find George Soros next to Bill Gates on, on almost all of these things, okay? I, I had no idea. I thought of it right now. <laughs> I thought of it on the spot. I just figured I would do that so we could do that together. Big shock, you know? But um, let's just move over. You guys get it, right? I mean, is it? do you guys need to see more than this to have the level of suspicion that I do? No, okay? So let's move over to this part, Okay. Why Bill Gates and Jeff Vinnick are investing billions to build an ecosystem in Tampa. Don't hear it from me, man. Hear it from Redacted. 18 minute city. It will happen through the Tampa Moves plan. Yes, you heard me right. Tampa, Florida is on the list to become a new 15 minute city. That's right. The 40 acres of waterfront property is owned by none other than Bill Gates through an investment fund, waterfront property in Tampa, Florida. 
Now, thanks to Patriots Voice for that little Bill Gates part of the story. I knew that Tampa was on the list among uh, Portland, Oregon, Portland, Maine. There's a bunch of other cities right now that are sort of on that target list to become 15-minute cities, and Tampa is one of them. And right now, of course, in the eye of a hurricane. But again, Patriots Voice, I didn't realize Bill Gates was actually behind it. And, the and he is. So uh, moving back over to that story right there, let's just uh, take a look at this. Ten years ago, uh, Jeff Finnick, this is from seven years ago, by the way. Uh, Jeff Finnick retired from Fidelity Investments after managing its high profile, yada, yada. Okay, so uh, let's go here, Vinick decision, um, experiment. Da, da, da. So throughout his own investment fund, joined by Bill Gates, Cascade, Cascade Fund, Vinick acquired 40 acres of land for a multi-billion dollar transformation of the vacant waterfront into a planned community. The complex will host a whole USFK bottom line. These guys basically bought, uh, they, they bought Tampa together, Okay. And so here you go. Uh, it's impossible to talk about Florida right now without mentioning Tampa. And if you look here, Bill Gates, boop, 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 here you go. These guys bought a three and a half billion dollar Water Street Tampa project financially backed by Bill Gates and Jeffrey Vinnick. 55 acre mixed use development uh, project of the it's OK. Bottom line, it's going to be a 15 minute city test run. Right. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to remake the world into these 15 minute cities and uh there you go. Tampa, Bill Gates. There it is. Now, let's take a look at this, though, okay? Because this is really shocking. What does Bill Gates want to do about people who question his ideas, you know, for global control, right? You're, you're, you're literally talking about a person who is trying to implement things that, get, that give him literally control over every single person in Western civilization or all of civilization in the long run. And when people question him, this is how he wants to handle it. Do you think that there have been some, you know, some reasonable questions to be asked about his last go around? You know, the new way of fighting uh, things that can make you sick. You know, all the research that he did and some of the practices in terms of the research and maybe the places that he helped fund that then released it, you know, like all that stuff. You think it's maybe we could have some questions that are reasonable, like people who, <gasps> matter of fact, uh, how about how about this little number right here? Okay. Uh, young people heart attacks hmm. so the uh what is behind the rise in heart attacks among young people and what you would find in this article is that now what here we go uh where did it go here heart attacks are increasing in young adults under the age of 40 including their 20s and 30s okay it's something like it's between it's either one in four or one in five people who is having a heart attack now is like under 40 years old. One in four, one in five. And that's in the last two to three years. Hmm. I wonder if we can think of anything that's happened since then that might be relevant to that conversation. Can you guys think of anything? You know, does it seem like maybe there are questions that we might want to ask about things that have been implemented over the last couple of years? I don't know, but let's just see what Bill Gates thinks we should do about that because here you go. CEO and co-founder Bill Gates Billionaire suggested an artificial intelligence program that would ban harmful speech. We should have free speech, but if you're inciting violence, if you're causing people not to take vaccines, you know, where are those boundaries that even the U.S. Uh, should, you know, have rules? And then if you have rules, you know, what is it? Is there some AI that encodes those rules because you have billions of activity and you know, if you catch it a day later, the harm is, is done. Gates published. A so uh, I just want to make sure that I translate that into uh, a, a, like words that you can understand. OK, or let me just actually reframe exactly what he just said. OK, so given that he is the number one global investor in the thing that he just referenced. OK, number one in the world. He basically controls all the power infrastructure in the, in the European Union, in the United States, and in many other countries related to how they roll those things out and how they mandate them, so on, so forth, et cetera. It all rolls up to him. And if you think that that is a hyper, hyperbolic thing, I'm telling you, go watch the documentary, Who is Bill Gates? You will have to go onto BitChute to watch it, but you will enjoy it. And then you can go fact check it. I wouldn't send you to some crazy website if I hadn't fact checked the things that are on there. It's all legit, okay? So when you consider that, okay, what he actually just said is, we should get an AI, which does moderation that human beings could never do because it'll catch it instantly because it works fast and all that. And if they tell people that they should question 
taking the thing that he is he is the arbiter of the thing he makes money from and the thing that he is using to implement global control mechanisms over all people on earth, then that should get deleted and the people should get punished. That's what he recommended. Okay, so just forget about what it is, right? Forget about what it is. He's like, you know, the thing that I have an enormous, like the largest vested interest ever for people doing the thing. Well, if they see information that they should not do the thing, we should ban the person that shares that information that they shouldn't do the thing rather than have a conversation about it, okay? Think about how insane that is, okay? His position basically is that the, those things he's talking about, there is nothing to talk about. There's no conversation, any piece of information that might keep people from taking it, they should ban that information and ban those people. Are you kidding? There's nothing to talk about. Do you understand how those things work? Like, do you actually understand how they work? Hey, you think, if you think you do, and if you think that that does not require some conversation, you're out of your mind. Do you know what an adjunct is? Do you know what the things are, are that are in there that make a person have a larger immune response to it to make them more efficient? It's poison. It's poison. They put trace amounts of poison into them, which in most cases is safe, and it makes people have a larger immune response, okay? But, in, I mean, but they will not allow any mainstream funding to see if maybe those adjuncts are not safe for everyone, right? If it's safe for nine out of 10 people, but let's say one out of 10, that, that's probably a large estimate in terms of the people who are going to, but like, how about one out of 50? And the 40, you know, the, the person, it's like one, two, three, four, five, 49, and then 50th. And it's like, oh, Russian roulette, boop, your brain is melted. You're telling me that we shouldn't be able to talk about whether or not that's a, that's a reasonable thing to do or whether we should reformulate, whether we should make some new modifications to the recipe. Like we can't, that's a conversation no one can have. Anyway, point is, uh, he's in weather modification. So, and he thinks that we should never be able to talk about anything adverse to his business interests. Really good guy, man. Share it with your friends. Tell everybody.